all you six millers out there. Uh, today we want to talk to you about something that everybody knows and everybody sees in the field. Plate carriers for one, but uh, the lack of plates in plate carriers. I mean, everybody knows how to buy a plate carrier, um, but this is a plate carrier without plates. It looks not as good. Everybody knows you never go full retard. And obviously, everybody's opinion is everybody's opinion. If you don't want to run plates, then don't run plates. But uh, we want to talk to you today about some different kind of plates and something fairly new to us anyway. Uh, we want to show you that. But first of all, plate carrier without plates is not a plate carrier. Hold on, dump that. There we go. Damn. Let's go uh, in a little recap about what kind of plates we had Plate used. carriers. Yeah, uh, well, most of us uh, run with plate carriers that are the, the plastic the plastic ones. You know, they come usually with the cheaper uh, airsoft gear, they, they have them inserted. Um, well, they don't have any weight on them. So if you have them here, uh, there's not any weight on them. So that's the problem actually with those plate carriers. So I got my plate carrier on. These contain these light plates. So what happens if you have a, uh, a, a camel pack or a day pack with stuff in it during pull sim, calm sim, pull sim, mill sim, whatever, and you run around and either you do this, you, you want to grab something or whatever, it goes like this. It's in your throat. Ah. Because it doesn't carry any weight. Everybody knows this problem if you carry these plates. Well, well, then you have something else because if you have the, like this hard plastic plates, and that's something especially for airsoft because normally they will be hard as well. If you go into CQB areas, you want to have a nice compact. But these plates could be in your way. Well, then you have, or you could use like foam plates that we have right here. Yeah. But they are more flexible, and these are really flexible. But these ones, well, are are a bit better. But what you have here is the same problem. They don't weigh anything. Still the same. <laughs> so these are better, but still they don't. If you see it like this, they don't form to your body. They're not curved. They're not. They're just a yeah, pack of foam. Basically, what we just shown you up till now is filling. Yeah. It looks better. Everything yeah, is more straight. It sure, it works. But it's better aesthetic. With plates as well. Be because yeah, it's, it's aesthetic. aesthetic. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. But now we came across something on Instagram actually. I came across a company called Titan Gear. Uh, we'll put the name down in the, in, the, in the comments or in the info. These make rubber plates. They're quite heavy. They're 1.3 kilograms a piece. So you have uh, 2.6 in your plate carrier. And these are really training plates. These are the lightweight ones, so that's 1.3. You have heavy weights and you have curved plates. You have different sizes as well. These are the medium plates, so normal uh, plate carriers will run medium plates. But what's nice in these ones, and you can probably see it here, is that they're curved already to your body, like normal or real plates would be as well. But also they are flexible. So if you would run these, you can be still in tight corners in CQB. We'll insert them in one with a plate carrier here. You can still they are flexible, so you will still have the weight, which keeps plate your plate carrier finally where it belongs, where it needs to be. And also, you still have a bit of flexible when playing CQB or CQB areas to get yourself small, so to say. Well, let's insert. Them. So they're in your plate carrier right now. Yeah. How do they? How do they feel? Because I, I already played with them, but this is the first time you're wearing them. Actually, so they're if you pick them up, they're okay. You know, you feel some weight, but if you got them on your body, they're actually very much okay. I think it will be but okay. But keeps your you plate carrier more in check. I, I like it. it. They do what they need to do. I think it will weight. be okay if, they, if you wear these the whole day, because that's not it's not that much of an no. extra weight. It's, no, it's two point. This is one one point three. Yeah, it's two point six in total. In total. But you also got heavy plates. Yeah. which you can buy with them. Yep, those are the two, around two, two kilograms each. Depending on if you so medium or large or 4.2, so yeah, yeah. I think I much prefer that, but I'm a big boy. I got my own plate carriers with me anyway, so I could lose some. Because actually, if you go more heavy, obviously you'll lose a little more weight. Because if you run around with heavy plates, these could be good with for the guys who do uh, crossfit. Crossfit, as well. yeah. Crossfit yeah. thing with these plates on. Yeah. And your extra weight lifting and uh, yeah. sport. So yeah, uh, talking about plates. Um, 
we just showed you a couple of things. Um, these are very cheap. I think they're about 10 euros a pop. So if you got a nice plate carrier, just believe us, try, get those plates, and you'll see, you, you'll understand your plate carrier better, why it is as it is. Uh, almost all stores, airsoft stores, uh, sell them. Um, my advice is, go straight to the ones that I got from Trident, that you got from Trident, which I'm definitely also going to get. Tridentgear.co.uk, yeah. we'll put the link down uh, in the description below. Not a promotion video, we're independent, but we're very enthusiastic about this. Because it finally keeps my darn plate carrier in check. Yeah. Alright, well this is just a little bit of advice from us to you guys, and uh, to all your six millers. <laughs> just remember, always, always check, check your six. six.